Good morning, everybody. Ooh, a Harry Potter game. Maybe. Season five. We'll take a look at these later. Good morning, everybody. So I recently got a comment about a Sheldon Funko Pop. And if he's still here, shucks. Apparently that pop was worth like a hundred bucks or something like that. Another lesson of why you should probably look up stuff while you're at the thrift store. I think Sheldon is gone. I wonder if the person who picked them up knew what they had. Hmm. Oh, sh is this what I think it is? <laughs> oh. You guys have no idea how happy I am to find this here. Fuck. I'm actually really hyped. I found the oversized trunket. It's a good day. I'm smiling under the mask, guys. What? No. That's actually pretty sweet. Yeah. What's the other one behind it? Just a... Uh, nice. Canadian on a vest screen. Hey, you know what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look what I got today. I got a trunket. Nobody knows. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Is that a costume? Or... It's not a costume. It's a puppet, bro. <laughs> it's a puppet. It's not like a... Head. It's a trunket. It's from a line called Wrinkles back in the day. I don't think I've ever actually seen that. Cause you ain't hip to it. <laughs> no. so ha I'm happy today though. I'm happy. Old for me, man. Oh shush. Make me feel old, bro. I'm just doing an overview of the building. I'll see you around. Good luck. Yeah, Take it easy. This is it. Pretty much. <gasps> Noah. Jealous, son? Are you jealous? You guys, don't be jealous. Back in the day, like, everyone was doing, I think Warner Brother characters were doing all hip-hop and stuff, and then Disney got on board. That Pinocchio poster is pretty sweet, too, and it's vintage, so. But they would actually sell these at the mall. I think it was, like, Hans Christian toys or something. Cucina. Kitchen. Second looks for the win. <laughs> Why, what's up? Are you like that? It's yeah, pretty sick, right? Yeah, I had the same poster as a kid, too. Yeah. So that's going to stay in the office, bro. Bro. Don't touch it. I saw the Pinocchio and the... That was pretty cool, actually. The, Goofy? Oh, no, the, yeah. the Disney one, yeah, yeah. The Disney one's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Bro, I don't know. I, I, I totally missed that. I usually look at that stuff last. This is, they used to sell these back in the day at the mall, like in... Hans Christian toys and Hallmark. Yeah, yeah. Pre-framed posters. I had a bunch of uh, Blue Jays Especially posters. The gold ones, right? Yeah, with the gold trim. Oh, That's man. so vintage. Kidding me? Uh, they have no debit, so I have to find an ATM to try to get some cash to pay for my stuff. Ah, it's glorious today, though. Beautiful day. No. Right. 
drunk, it's naked, but he's safe with us. What a beautiful day today is though, eh? So it's a few days later. I'm going to go to the thrift store right away. But just to recap, today's finds, not much. But this is Trunkit. I know he doesn't look like much of this belly hanging out. He's an oversized wrinkles doll from, I think they call it the Heritage Line. Sorry, ignore that. That's my money for my statue uh, fund. <laughs> I want to say my wrinkles collection is almost, almost complete. So for people who don't know, wrinkles was a line that came out uh, in the early to, to mid 80s. They were mostly dogs and they had the... You see their wrinkles. This is Trunkit. <laughs> but they, they usually say wrinkles on the back of the ear like that. Uh, they mostly came out with dogs, some smaller sizes, some bigger sizes. This one obviously is like an oversized uh, version. And he's an elephant. He's like a cousin of the wrinkles, I guess. The other one I'm missing that I think would fill out and complete my collection is uh, the moose. I believe his name is Moogie Moose. Um, and as soon as I get that, I'm going to consider my wrinkles collection complete. And I will do an overview video of all of those. And the rest of the pickups from this day most of this i got on camera some of this was actually from my wife i did pick up this harry potter game it was complete value on the screen there uh, my wife found this actually she went to the thrift store just after me i forget its name 4.99 minus everything's minus 20 percent off uh chancy's pre-evolved form what is that i can't remember Oh shoot, uh, name's on the screen. I'm a horrible, horrible Pokemon fan. But again, we're just gonna add it to the Pokemon collection. These just looked interesting. This was my gamble for the day, $5, minus 20% off. I don't know, some sort of hockey mascots thing. Uh, the other game I got this day, Star Wars Force Unleashed for the Wii value on the screen, this one. Five bucks minus 20% off was complete. I've just been selling Wii games really easily on eBay, so I'm going to flip that one. Sorry, guys. Uh, the Wifey also picked up a couple Goosebumps books, just variations on the ones that I have, the re-releases. One of my favorite episodes for the Goosebumps live-action show that was on Fox. It was on YTV here up in Canada before we had Fox. And Goosebumps wanted the Haunted Mask. Try it on. Look at the prices on that book. $6.99 US, $7.99 Canada. 2012. So there you go. Just I guess added to the collection. This one was four bucks, Mighty Ducks. Look at that, their motorcycle. I just found a few other Mighty Ducks figures at the thrift store, so I just thought I'd pick this up, put it on eBay for a nice little lot. Four bucks minus 20% off. There you go. Not too shabby. I'll put pictures of everything after. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, personal grail for me right here. Trunk it. I'm very happy about that. One more thing missing out of my quote-unquote collection. Anyways, that's it for me, Nate. Thank you very much for watching. Peace. Take care of yourselves and each other. Check us out on Facebook. And check us out on Instagram. At Thrift Dweller. And Thrift Dweller on Facebook.